Hey y'all, it's Michael and it's Vlogtumber Day 15 and <laughs> it is raining, but I told Adam that I would do a video out in the rain. So Adam, this is for you and I hope... I mean, it's not that bad, but on September 15th starts um, Hispanic Heritage Month and it runs until um, October 15th. And so I thought I would do my TBR. Um, I already did half of my TBR from like half of it from the previous video and today I thought I would talk to you about the book that I want to read um, during Hispanic Hispanic Heritage Month. So let's get started before it gets it starts raining even harder. Now in case you're wondering this paper is not getting wet it is um, the Ride on Rain paper. Um, I bought this previously from like um, I took a course uh, in college about the environmental scientific like quality of the rivers we have to buy this type of paper because it doesn't like get wet in the sense like a normal paper does um so I, i'm using it so i can make sure i have my notes but in case you're wondering like what's going on with this paper that's what's going on okay the one book that i or author i guess you could say that i really want to read <laughs> oh my God. that i really want to read is from is Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Now, I have never read a book by him, which I am surprised at. Um, just because I love magical realism and he is one of the granddaddies of magical realism. And so <laughs> I really want to read um, one of his books. I have his 100 Years of Solitude and also um, his love in the time of Colora. so either or I want to pick one of them but I I'm making it a mission this year to read one of his books for sure like it is a definite um ooh, okay now another um fiction book I want to read also is is like water for chocolate by Laura um Escu Escuve um this one, I, I, I'm really interested in it just because it has food and recipes. And so, I mean, if anything, I want to do a cooking video with that me trying to cook the recipe. This one's a possibility because I read her other um, story. It's the story of my teeth by um, Valeria Luceli. Luceli? Luceli? Um, I read her um, Los Ingravidos, which is was such an interesting read. It's told like you know how normally stories are like point A to point B, but instead this one was she described it as like vertical storytelling where it it it, it told the story um in like a vertical sense of view. Do you need to go people it? It was like almost like a a layer tier type of storytelling. It was really interesting. Um and it like got my mind going so I really want to read another um Story by her. Also, want to tackle some nonfiction. Um, I, these are the ones that my library do have. One is when I was in Puerto, when I was Puerto Rican by Esmeralda Santiago, and then the other one, The Distance Between Us by Reina Grande. Um, both of these are a memoir type. Another fiction that I did see also is Among Strange Victims by Danielle Saldana Paris. Um, I, this was released. This was released currently. Um, actually, it's about this guy in Mexico, and then he gets. From what I'm understanding from the um, synopsis, he's like like a loner almost. Like a, he, he he's by himself a lot, and then he marries um, someone by the name of Cecilia. And so I think this one like explores him as he goes into domestic life um, with uh, Cecilia. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> now the short story collection that I do want to read um, is he wrote 2666 and I have an old review about that. <sighs> that was one of the first like audiobooks I've ever when I listened to it I was taking so many notes and like I was concentrating so much on it. So I want to read his short story collection, Last Evening on Earth by Roberto Volano. Oh, yeah, so we'll see how this one goes. I actually do want to physically read also 2666. 
Um, because I know that I'll probably get a different point of view from it, um, reading it the first time, but experiencing the story, uh, like, second, like, experiencing it again. As I mentioned earlier um, on my previous, um, video, I do want to get more in back into more poetry, um, and I did find one that my, uh, library had that I thought was really cool. It's called Cool Salsa Bilingual Poems on Growing Up Latino in the United States, edited by Lori Marie Carlson. I'm, I'm assuming the poems are bilingual poems around growing up in Latino in the United States. So, yeah. Also, as I mentioned previously, when I was at Second and Charles, I found a whole, whole bunch of poetry books by Pablo Neruda, and he's, it's like he's really popular um, with his poems regarding like love, so I saw a whole bunch of poetry collect like poetry books um, that he wrote, and like I saw an illustrated one at Second and Charles. So as soon as the storm <laughs> dies down, um, I'm hoping to go back to Second and Charles and just have a look around and see um, what other poetry books and what other books um, by uh, Hispanic authors that I'll. I'll find. All right, the last section that I want to tackle for um, Hispanic Heritage Month is um, graphic novels. I have read a couple of graphic novels by um, Hispanic authors, and one of them that I really enjoyed was Day Tripper by Fabio Moon and Fabio Ba. This was a really interesting um, graphic novel. First off, it was drawn beautifully. It has these watercolor-esque coloring and the way it was uh, it was beautifully drawn aesthetically but the story was so fascinating too it's about this guy named bra who is an obituary writer so he writes like he writes obituaries really interesting because the book like jumps around and it tells you like stories within stories um it's really interesting i really like it okay i'm gonna wrap this up because it's getting a little bit cold <laughs> So I found that my library has another like short story graphic. Well, it's a graphic. It's a short stories, but told in a graphic novel form, and that's detailed stories from Arvin Brazil by um, Fabio Moon. So I'm really interested in it. I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to his day tripper story, to their day tripper stories. So something in that vein. The other one I read um, a while back was called Sloth by. Gilbert Hernandez. That was, um, I thought, I gave that three stars. I thought that was pretty okay. And I see that my library has another book by him called, um, Palomar. This one is about this fictional Mexico City called Palomar. And it's like different point of views of different characters. And we see how this city comes alive from these, um, different point of views. And I think, like, they start to converge together. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, those are... Those are some of the books that I'm planning on reading for Hispanic, Hispanic Heritage Month. So if you have any more suggestions, I would love more suggestions. I'm constantly looking at those Hispanic authors you need to read, um, Hispanic authors you need to read for Hispanic Heritage Month. Like, I've seen a lot of these those lists, and so that's where I got a lot of these from. Uh, so if you have any more suggestions or recommendations, um, let me know. Until then, I'm gonna get out of this rain, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye! If anything, the most important thing is that my camera's not ripped.